already after this you wanted to go to the record store right yes you must really want that new idol group's album well you know the lead vocalist he looks a bit like amikuchi -kun. so what jeez and all the guys at school suck there's not even one you might like? Being in love is wonderful, Strangeton. Even just watching from afar. It's like your heart's wrapped in a warm blanket. <sighs> Romance aside, I'm still hungry. Let's get more treats. I don't know. Can we finish this conversation first? Seriously? Eh. Well, where were we? Oh, right. I remember now. Mm -hmm. Have you seen how the guys react when Morimura walks in? Let's just say they're not looking at her eyes. She does have a nice figure, and I can sort of understand. About Amiguchi-kun. I heard he's not joining the basketball team. What a shame. He's so good at it. Back in grade school, he played soccer. But one day, he just got bored and quit. You guys knew each other back then? Yeah, in fourth grade. Nachan, too. We were in the same class. Are you sending your love letter, Miwa-chan? I don't know. My fortune said bad luck this week, so... I see. Confessions take a lot of courage, huh? Yuri-chan. Uh, sorry, sorry. Don't mind me. You should get a four-leaf clover, Yuri-chan. Huh? It's a love charm. I saw it in a magazine. You include it in a love letter to your crush. Your wish will come true. Uh-huh. And what was it last week? Put a photo of your crush inside your pillow? Let's see. Now where were we? already so many stray cats around here maybe someone's feeding them that kitty think it's the same one i saw at school i don't know a lot of cats look like that you saw it too right yuri chan didn't it look the same oh it's over there I don't see it. Must have taken off already. After this, there's not even one you might like? Miwa-chan? You should do it. Send your love letter. Huh? But it said my luck for this week is bad. I see. Confessions take a lot of courage, huh? Yuri-chan. Uh, don't mind me. Let's see. Now, where were we? Even just watching from a parts wrapped in a warm blink. <sighs> Make romance aside, I'm still hungry. Good idea. 
Where should we go? Let's get sweets. It's a hot day today. Why don't we get soft serve? Nah. I'd rather have crepes. Let's let Yori-chan decide. The soft serve place just got a new flavor in. I wonder what it tastes like. Don't you want to try it, Yori-chan? We've had crepes a lot lately. So, I agree with Miwa-chan. Yeah, okay. All right, let's go! We all got the new flavor. Rich vanilla, right? It was either this or chocolate mint. All right, I'm gonna try it. Mm, it's so good! Super sweet. You know what my lucky item is this week? Soft serve ice cream! <laughs> Guess things are looking up for you then. They really are! <laughs> I can tell! I'd love to go back to that one place. Um, do you think we'll put on weight? Mm, we did just eat a lot of sugar. Yori, are you on a diet? Is that crush getting to your head? Don't tell me. You two are taking things to the next level? It's not like that. Man, all the guys at school suck. There's not even one you might like? Being in love is wonderful, Sami-chan. Even just watching from afar. It's like your heart <sighs> wrapped in a warm blanket. Oh. Did you see that, Sami-chan? It was that kitty again. I don't see it. So many stray cats? I don't know. You saw it too! After th you wanted to go to the record store. Yes! You must really want- Well, he looks- So- Man, all the guys at school s There's not even- Miwa-chan, you should do it. Don't forget! You got your lucky item today! Yeah, just tell him. Oh, stop! It's so embarrassing! Watching from afar is good enough. But I do envy you, Yori-chan. You talk to Amiguchi-kun like it's no big deal. You two are chatting on lunch break, right? In the passageway? What about? Well, uh... Dreams? Let's see. Now, where were we? Wonderful, Sami-chan. Amiguchi-kun and Kurabe-kun's dreams. They sounded a lot like mine. I wanted to talk to them about it. Maybe we're all connected. Kurabe-kun! <gasps> Oh, Fuyusaka-san. What brings you here? You weren't at your desk, so... I thought I'd check outside. Are you waiting for Amiguchi-kun? Well, trying to. More dream talk? I'm sure that's what he'd want to do. But <laughs> I just want to play games. I thought I'd ask to hang out at his place. You know, I've been thinking. I know we just met here at school, but... Doesn't feel like it's for the first time. <sighs> Have we met somewhere before? A long time ago? Um, I don't think so. Oh. 
Fuyusaka's here too. Amiguchi-kun. Did you have another dream? You guessed it. It was crazy, man. I was in this tank thing with legs, uh, walking around, beating up monsters. Were you watching some sci-fi B-movie before bed? So you've been having dreams like that all this time? Oh yeah, especially lately. You too, right, Karabi-kun? Mine was about a UFO. I went back in time using the UFO's transmitter. I have dreams like that all the time. But in my case, I think I'm too easily influenced by movies and stuff. Why did you come here anyway? Don't tell me you're interested in our dreams. About that, the truth is, I've been having weird dreams too. It seems like they might be related, so... I thought I should talk to you guys about it. Oh yeah? What kind of dreams? Strange dreams. That dream you just told us about. You know, the tank with legs. I saw something similar myself. For real? Strange dreams. I think that was you in my dream, Amiguchi-kun. looks so empty. There's no Century Tower. This must be before it was built. <sighs> I went back 16 years. Looks like I'm the only one who made it. Were Jiro and Okinokun unable to escape? <sighs> this must be around the time I was born. And I'm all alone. What am I supposed to do? here by the future you to the year 2089 the future of me she asked me to find you on Sumire bridge 16 years prior and tell you about our battles we'll defeat them this time for sure it's getting noisy I don't want to get caught let's get out of here what about that thing are you just going to leave it here? Don't have much choice. Gonna need it eventually. I'll worry about it later. For now, though, I think it's best you come with me. already 2089 
that's what year it was in my dream. He said he'd gone back in time 16 years to find me. If that was a real premonition, something's gonna happen in the year 2105. That's 120 years from now. So many stray cats around here. That there's not even one. Being in love is what even just. <sighs> Maybe, but come on. Rom Their stuff was pretty good. Let. The softer place just got an. The flavoring. I wonder what it tastes. I agree like. with Usami-chan. Crepes sound good right now. Then that's that. Let's go. Your usual? Chocolate banana, right? Double strawberry was half off. I have to try it. Yum! Well, let's see. How is it? Mmm! So many strawberries! Crispy edges. Lots of cream. You know, what if I got the tuna in mayo? I could have fed it to the cat. Hey, cats can't have crepes. I actually have cat treats with me. If you want to feed him, give him those. So you're the one who's been feeding them? Jeez, Miwako. I'll keep that in mind next time I see one. Thanks, Miwa-chan. I'd love to go back to that one place. Um, do you think we'll put on... Wait? Mm, we did just eat a lot of sugar. Yori. And all the guys that... What? That guy's shallower than a cookie pan. You've got a strange taste in men, Miwako. That's mean. Oto Senpai's pretty cute, too. He has a lot of secret admirers, even some of the third years. Yeah, I'll pass. Man, all the guys at school suck. After this, you wanted to go to the records. <sighs> Me? Romance aside, I'm still hungry. Let's get more treats. I don't know. Well, where were we? Oh, right. Have you seen how the guys react when Morimura walks in? Let's just say they're not looking at her eyes. She does have a nice figure. And I can sort of understand. <gasps> Did you see that, Usami-chan? It was that kitty again! Not looking... That guy's shallower than a cookie pan. Oh, he has a lot of secret admirers. Even some of the prayers. Hey! Hey! Iwa-chan! Over here! Oh, one moment. I'll get the treat. They're very similar, but I think the one at school looks slightly different. So there's more than one. You got a good look at the one at school, huh? At the front gate with Karabe. Oh, you saw that? Oh! That guy's kind of weird, don't you think? What were you talking to him about? It was... It's only 8.10 a.m. 
Behold! Yori Fuyusaka, genuine morning person. It's not so bad if I put my mind to it. Morning, Fuyasaka san. <gasps> Shh, quiet. Huh? Oh, a cat. Looks just like a stray I've seen by my house. Maybe they're siblings. Kurabe kun, do you still have those dreams? Yeah, sometimes. I have them too. You know that one you talked about earlier? With the UFO buried underground? UFO? Iori! Morning! Usami-chan! Good morning! What were you guys up to over there? Oh, um... Just looking at a cat. Uh-huh. Hey, can we talk a little more? Uh, okay. Megumi? Oh. Every day, I have strange dreams. worried with you all by yourself. If something were to happen to you, I... Drew, stop. <sighs> I'm flattered you feel that way. But I can't think about this. Not now. I don't want to leave you hanging. No, I get it. I don't know what got into me. This is no time for a confession. It would only make things more complicated. But, listen. When this is all over, I'll talk to you again. Promise. There it is again. Were you able to find the source of these tremors? Okino-kun. Remember the kaiju that were immobilized? They're starting to collapse. The tunnel is blocked. We'll need to find another route to the surface. There's no use rushing. No one's left up there anyway. <sighs> you don't have to say it. <sighs> so you remember. I'm so sorry about your mother. It's okay. Our work here is a good distraction. I'll check the terminal over there. I didn't mean any harm, Morimura-san. Don't worry about it. This one block of data is still being analyzed. It's been three days, and it's only at 1.2%. That's unusually dense. Still, the system's logical structure... It's not so far off from our own. Was Okino-kun right all along? This could be a relic of an ancient civilization. I wonder what this is for. 
Something incredible, surely. If you asked me for my best guess, I'd say it's a transmission device. In other words, a teleporter. <sighs> Don't give me that look. Hear me out. I actually found some associated data. Come on, you've taken quantum mechanics. Transmission of matter isn't possible. That's what our science says. We can't assume that alien technology is bound by the same constraints. If my theory is correct, we've got an explanation for the disappearances. Including those of your parents, Morimura-san. Guys, come take a look at this. The analysis took some time, but I found this. What is that? The map. This relic is enormous. It's 30 kilometers in diameter. And the whole thing's underground, right beneath the city. It looks like a giant saucer. Fascinating. So this isn't just any alien facility. It's a buried UFO. We're only 300 meters from the surface. This facility is huge. How could it have never been discovered? It's not likely. Rather, it may have been intentionally hidden. A government cover-up of alien life. Sounds like a movie from the 20th century. We should investigate further. Those monsters on the surface... Are they trying to unearth this UFO? Just what are they after? It may have something to do with this. It's a data signal being emitted by this facility as we speak. What does it look like to you? This is... A countdown. It started when the Kaiju came in contact with the mainframe. Since then, the clock's been ticking. We should investigate further. This may not be appropriate, but I'm honestly excited. This sort of alien technology? I can hardly believe it. So when the countdown reaches zero, what happens? Hmm. It may be related to the gravity wave abnormality. Do you think it might... launch? Let's just continue the analysis. There's no time for what-ifs. We need to find out what's going on. <laughs> 